it's much more than that because they tied in tens of thousands of dollars of spousal support into that that she lied to get so I know she does not she did not deserve that extra money but I still had to pay it it was still coming it was still being counted against me even though the courts said that it would stop after two years it continued on and Butler County DRS whatever that is divorce, divorce reality specialists <laughs> uh, divisional rape space I don't know because <laughs> uh, divorce courts are set up to keep us in pain to keep us controlled and if if you don't believe that we are totally controlled yet if this pandemic hasn't like woken you up to that yet surprise you're totally controlled <laughs> even though some of you are serving what I thought was an amazing country for most of my life I was a patriot I was turned into a patriot but then uh, things like the Patriot Act came out and made me realize that, that I don't want to be a patriot not the way not the way I've learned what patriot means patriotism is to blindly support your country because your country supposedly blindly supports you no 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 this country isn't doing anything unless we force them to you've seen it we pushed their issue on on cigarettes causing cancer, so they finally put a warning on there. But they still sell them. They're still legal. People are still addicted to them. People are still dying from them. Many people in my family dying from cigarettes. And they put alcohol on the planet. They That's authorized. That's legal. It kills more people this year, every year than this pandemic ever will. The pandemic can't even touch alcohol. So... If you want to take a big chunk out of death, take your fucking mask off and take a beer out of somebody's hand. Breathe some fresh air and go over and tell the person you love to put the shit down because it does no good. Alcohol does no good. You've seen it your entire lives. You've lived it. Every single one of you have been touched negatively by alcohol. And you, you say, yeah, yeah, I had a great time last night. You have a great time? Yeah, how are you feeling this morning? Oh, not so fucking good. Do you remember what you did last night? Mm, I think so. Um, do you remember grabbing somebody's breast? No, I would definitely think I would remember that. At least I would want to. I mean, if I'm going to violate somebody that way, I would love to be able to remember it. But I would never want to violate somebody like that. But I did. I did. This human body violated other people's shit. Yes, me. Me too. I didn't ever do that. No. Don't I'm not in the the pound sign me too column. That whole campaign was run the wrong way. It should have been them too. Because we should call out those motherfuckers. Call out every single one of them. You Wayfair people selling kids on the internet? Ellen DeGeneres selling $10,000 pillows with a missing person's name on it? If that's true... Yeah. Mm. That's, that's horrible. But call them out. Call every single person out that you know is doing something wrong. But call them out. Like, go up to them and say, dude, or chick, chick dude, dude chick. What you're doing isn't fucking working. Have you not seen that? Do you not have complete, like, biological evidence that that is not working? You've seen ancestors do it. Countless ancestors. You know, how many generations does alcoholism go back in your family? 
how far does it go back in history? I didn't I didn't look it up. I don't want to. But as long as there's been alcohol, there's been alcoholism. So if you want to it would probably let us ascend as a society if we just took out alcohol alone. If alcohol never existed, we probably wouldn't even be here because we would be all sentient beings living in what we would what we consider heaven and we'd be able to go anywhere, do anything because we are a sentient being. We could be anywhere at any time. We could be any, everywhere at one time because there is no time. We created time. Faulty man created time. And alcohol. Yeah, alcohol is a drug created by man. That has absolute murderous side effects. Murderous. People have murdered on alcohol. People have been killed on alcohol. People have died on alcohol just from drinking it alone. Let alone what they do to others and themselves after they drink it. So yeah, put the shit down forever. There's no need for it. You can say it's free choice, free will. Yeah, you are freely harming yourself and many other people in your lives. I guess I, I just found out like minutes ago or a little while ago, right before this video started, that my brother and sister-in-law are in quarantine because my brother and a roommate, his roommate, went out to a bar and supposedly somebody at the bar ended up COVID positive. So yeah, now they're on quarantine. I don't know when that was. I don't know if I saw my brother after that or before that. Weird, right? But um, if this pandemic was a real thing, like my little sister Jessie said, if they would have just done a two-week, everybody stay in your fucking house order, you know? It could have worked, right? No, it can't work. Because there's people that require other people to go and help them because they're in so much pain and they are so miserable with life that they are stuck somewhere and can't get out because they're in so much pain. Whether it be physical, mental, emotional, they are stuck. And they require other human beings to help them to survive. So, and that's awesome that we have people that are willing to dedicate their lives to that. That's awesome. Nurses, doctors, therapists. My therapist saved me. I went and thanked her personally. And, um, yeah, just... We are, we are capable of so much more. It doesn't have to be this way. We can let everything go. And like I said, I bounce around a lot. That's my autism. But that doesn't, that shouldn't take away anything that I say just because I say I have a so-called disability. I think it's a heightened ability. I think my autism has absolutely helped me to figure this world out better. My hypervigilance, my OCD, my ADHD, my just thrive for new experiences, my drive to experience everything. Like, I've had this thirst all my life, but I shut it off for so many years because it wasn't right to ask so many questions. It was exhausting to people. It was, like, annoying. It was painful. So I didn't want to inflict any pain on anybody. So I shut the fuck up. Just like they told me. I was quiet. And I tried to stay quiet. And then... The pain would build up. And 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 BAM! Gets to the top. Guess what? Can't go anywhere, right? You explode. Shit comes out on people that didn't deserve it. You get drunk. The pain comes out in horrible ways that you never even imagined. You end up in jail. And as you lay there in the jail cell, trying to figure out how you got there, because all you remember is bits and pieces of the night before, 
and then you're sitting there in your jail cell watching the ants come up out of the drain looking up at the camera right above the toilet thinking yeah if I shit they're watching if I piss they see my dick if I sneeze they know it if I look the wrong way then that makes me a worse inmate or criminal or whatever you want to label me as if I'm in jail and so they're judging me I feel judged my whole life and I was because that's what they made turned us into is a bunch of judgmental pricks and I was one I know it I know it now and I am sorry to everybody I ever judged sorry to everything I judged and yeah am I judging alcohol I'm not judging it it's facts they are facts people the facts are out there. Alcohol's bad. <laughs> There's nothing that says alcohol's good. Other than the people that want excuses to do bad shit. Or they want to drown out their pain. Or they want to escape. They want to self-medicate. Love you. Love you too. There's <laughs> apparently a crow cawing and one of those wonderful scavenger birds that I've been seeing so much lately. They are my thing this year, I guess. I don't know, maybe they're, maybe everybody sees so many of them, but in Iowa I had 17 of them flying over my head. Oh, man. Yeah, alcohol is bad. It's facts. I'd let it, I used it. I used alcohol. Used it as a crutch. I used it as a weapon, I used it as an escape, I used it as medication, I used it in so many ways, and none of them were good, not one of them, well, I'll take that back, lately uh, I have uh, tried a couple drinks, I've had a drink here and there, everything in moderation can be handled people, but most humans can't moderate shit. You can see them. You can see the ones that can't moderate. You can see them. And not only that, but you can feel them. You can feel the ones that aren't doing what we're supposed to do. And I'm not judging. You have free will. You have free choice. But then when you're in pain and when you have disease and illness because of you overindulged in the wrong things, then... I still feel bad for you because you're in pain. I, I'm an empath. I still feel your stuff. You're you're still in the collective. I, you're there. But it wasn't by an accident. It wasn't by like you, you know, stepped into traffic that you didn't know was there or somebody came off the road and hit you or it wasn't an accident. It was like you intentionally kept putting the same toxin into your life, whether it was a person, place, thing, substance you continuously abused a substance or anything material if you overconsume overconsumption of anything is bad and uh oh I'll say it here I was going to say I was going to just go to my storage unit someday and open it up and throw a Facebook live video out there but I'll just throw it on here if anybody wants anything I have, ask me for it and tell me how it will improve your life and help you raise the collective. That's all you got to do, and I will give it to you. My gut, my intuition says that you're being honest. I will give you whatever you ask for. But just know that. I can and have always been able to see through the bullshit. I can see body language. I can see inner pain. I can feel it. I know it's there. I can't quite read thoughts yet. Yet. But. It's it's coming. All, all the clairs are here. I haven't. Uh, well I have seen 
I have seen things outside of myself, so... Yeah. Things are way different than what we've been told, or at least what I was told. Maybe your reality is that you're more awake than I am. Maybe you're more aware, and you know things that I don't know, but... My new self, I don't know anything until I know it. So, when I can feel it, when I feel inside myself, the Reiki energy, the Chi, the Prana, the Life Force, whatever you want to call it, God, Unconditional Love, the Fifth Element, Space, Ether, this goes by so many names and so many cultures, but, yeah, if, if you're in tune with that, you're in tune with everything. That's why I can't hang out with a lot of people for any length of time. Because every single one of us is in our own unique pain. And I'm an empath. And I can feel it. And I don't deserve it. And I don't want to feel your stuff. But yet, I go into the most painful places and shed my light. See the light all around me? I love it. <sighs> I shed it. Shed that light. Just throw it out there. Pump out the love. I love you. Love you. And for the Reiki people, for the energy people, for the healing hands or the... You are healed. And they believe it. And they are healed. All those people, all those people that know that we are more than just a physical body and that we are here for more than just physical needs and to, you know, buy the most stuff or win, you know, the whoever wins has the most stuff at the end or I don't know. But like I said, you can have it all. You can have all my stuff. I mean, there will be a few things that I hold on to. Actually, no. It just has to go to the right people. Like, my grandma's spoon collection. I've already offered it. Well, I don't... I think I offered it to Brianne. I'm pretty sure I offered it to Brianne. And I don't know if she accepted it, but... Brianne! Who I said I was cried with earlier, and she texted me in, during this video. For the first time in weeks. Um, maybe over a month. But, uh... Yeah. So... Yeah, anybody can have anything. Even the spoon collection, but like I said, that's going to go to Brienne or some other person in my family that will show me that they are have as much interest in it that I do. So what I would do is when I was in the Navy, I, whenever I went to a new place that had one of these little collector spoons, I would buy it and I'd send it to my grandma. And if anybody knows me, I don't do that stuff. I want to. I have all the intentions to do it. But if you got letters from me in the mail, you, oof, <laughs> you're special. Because I didn't do that for just anybody. If you talk to me on the phone, I couldn't talk on the phone because I couldn't be honest. I, I I didn't understand it before. I was always like, oh, it's awkward silence. It's like we already talked about what we did today or yesterday or, you know, I talked to you yesterday. So it's like, hey, what's new? It's like, oh, I just went to school and, you know, uh, yeah, I just went to work. and But, you know, we were just going through the motions, me and the kids. And um, I, I tried to I tried to do what I thought was right. And just like the song Epiphany by Stained, I'll do the right thing if the right thing is revealed. I would. Now. The old me? I literally used alcohol so that I could make bad decisions. Yeah, wow. Wow. There's me being honest with me. I couldn't even, I didn't even know that before. I, I I didn't understand it before. But yeah, I totally got drunk to enable me to do things that I didn't want to do to please other people. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, that that's horrible. That's that was the that was the me though. That was me. That was the program to me. And uh, like I said, I woke up on my birthday on November twenty seventh, two thousand eighteen. This is uh, a year and a half after Marissa told me she didn't want to see me anymore, and now I understand it. I didn't want to see me then either, but yet I expected my kids to want to see me. Uh, I was in so much pain, I didn't want to be around myself, but I was expecting other people to be around and be around me. I... I'm sorry. I'd say I didn't know better, but I did. I knew better every time every time I picked up a drink I knew where it was leading you know Alyssa would be like oh hey you want to stop for stop uh go down to meet at babes at for a drink after work because uh my day is sucked and I'm like I don't really want to drink today but I'll go support my my soulmate she is my soulmate Absolutely. I have a ton of soulmates. My vision of a soulmate was totally different before I healed. I thought a soulmate was like what they tell us we're supposed to get to. You know, we're supposed to find that person, that that one other person in the universe that will complete us, that, that we are meant to be with. You know, there's that twin flame they call them now. Now that's what I believe is a twin flame. But now, I don't even know if, if there's like a twin flame. I think there's people that are absolutely supposed to be in our lives and they go come in for a certain amount of time for a certain purpose and then they go out. And some of them are like that. Some of them come in with a flash and they're like gone. Poof, out with a bang. And it's like, whoa. Wow. Nice knowing you. Don't know why it had to end, but it was nice knowing you. And uh, my pain pushed everybody away. And then I wondered, you know, we, we wonder why they're like, oh my God, you find out who your real friends are when you're at your lowest. You do. Because when you're at your lowest and there's still somebody there, whew, they fucking care. They care so much they are killing themselves to be near you. So thank them. Don't berate them. Don't look at them like, Oh, yeah, you're with me, I'm with you, let's do this thing called life, because, yeah, I'm miserable by myself, so if I add this other person to my life, this is, this is gonna, this is, this is gonna work, this is gonna work, this is gonna complete me. <sighs> maybe once in a million times, maybe, maybe like winning the lottery. Maybe that chance encounter could lead to that. Maybe some people have won the lottery that way. I'm sure there are. But the odds are that the people in your life that are still in pain probably aren't going to be in your life in the near future. Whether it's through them dying from their illness or them telling you to get the F out of your life because you're crazy and you're weird and you move too much or make too much noise or you fidget or whatever you have the wrong energy for me and go away so I go away and I'm good with that now just tell me and I'll stop coming around you because I don't do it because I want to I do it because I have to because I love you unconditionally and I will do anything and everything to make anybody else feel better. Because every single person that feels better makes me feel better. And not just because I help them. That helps, that feels amazing. But because of the collective. Because we are all connected 
through this unconditional love, fifth element, ether thing, space, whatever you want to call it. And when you hurt, I hurt, we hurt, we all hurt. And so I am here to help humanity in any way I can. And that is to give my energy, my money, my car, my whatever, my bag, my water, very important. Yeah, if you want anything, just come tell me how it will help improve your life, which will improve humanity. And you can have it for free. No money. I would like a hug, though, if you're down with that during this wonderful pandemic. Many people still are. The pandemic. People. If you believe this virus is going to kill you or anybody you love, it probably will. If you truly believe it. Because that becomes your reality, which kind of forces it into existence. And, yeah, it's like, uh, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm making this video on my way to go see Megan McKenzie, Sarah probably, Christian, most likely, and all the kids, and Mike and stuff. Megan just sent me a message that popped up that says uh, Garrett and Kate will be there. <sighs> Love you, universe. Because it has two special souls that are together. And they're going to do amazing things. And I get to go be in their presence. I get to go be in the presence of my amazing niece, Megan, and my amazing niece, Mackenzie, and their amazing kids. And Mike... Yeah, they're all amazing souls in a lot of pain trying to get through this thing called life. And uh, I'm going to go see them now. And uh, spread this thing called unconditional love. And let my light shine. We all have that power, people. I'm not special. I'm not super. I'm not any better than you are. Might be in less pain than you are. I'm most likely in less pain than you are, because I don't have any pain anymore. Well, the collective pain and the people in pain around me. But I myself am fixing all of my past mistakes. My credit's back on the rise. I have this car, which is... Throw me some issues again. <laughs> but, um... Through some painful dealings with the dealership, they got me back in it, and it's fixed. And, uh, they're doing some... Well, I'm, I guess I'm road testing it for them. I thought of this this morning. I don't think I should be doing their road testing for them. I think they should give me a loaner vehicle, and... But... It's okay. I love driving. I told him. I was like, told Jeff, I'm like, hey, I love driving. I have no problem bringing it back every three to five hundred miles to see your your smiling face, you know. So, yeah, I'll see Jeff every three to five hundred miles so he can check the engine oil and go from there. But until then, I'm gonna drive Moose, and that's Raku on the dash. I'm gonna drive Moose to go see some amazing. Amazing souls. And I'm going to spread some love. I love you so much. Peace, love, and happiness. Inner happiness. Inner joy. Yeah. You get what I'm throwing down. Oh, love you. Hour and three minutes later. <laughs> love you all the same. And if you've listened to this point, wow, you love me. Have a wonderful day. And uh, let me go see some amazing souls. <laughs>